Our newest system, uh, utilizing our two latest products plus a, a smartphone app, is called Climb. It's a real-time Strava-enabled uh, app. So the whole idea of Climb is that when when people are doing Strava segments, you actually don't find out until after you've ridden a segment or run a segment where you are on the leaderboard. So this essentially is bringing that knowledge of your placement on the leaderboard uh, to your eyes and to your ears in real time while you're riding or running. So essentially, we've got an app called Climb, and when you use it in conjunction with our Viva heart rate monitor, and our Sport Eyes heads up display or our voice heads up uh, audio system, it will announce to you uh, where you are in a segment. So to kind of walk you through the whole process, uh, essentially before you go for your ride, you would go on to our app and select uh, the segments that you're interested in riding. It will show you a map with all of the segments that are around you geographically. So we're in Kananaskis today. I'm going to choose this particular segment. Okay, it's called Mount Allen Drive Climb. I'm going to add this segment. And, and then when I add that segment, it says choose a hero. This is the leaderboard for that segment. In this particular case, there's only two people that have ever done this segment. So, you know what? I'm gonna compare myself to number one, Marson. And so now what the app is doing is it's downloading Marson's data file from Strava. And then it's as simple as that. When I go out for my ride, I'll be riding along uh, wearing my Viva heart rate strap and my sport eyes or voice attached to my glasses or to my helmet. And when I approach the segment, it will say the segment is approaching in 30 meters, 10 meters, segment started. And as I start riding, it will tell me how many seconds ahead or behind I am of Marson in this case. Uh, and so if I'm going for number one on the leaderboard, which clearly I am in this particular case, um, then I'll know when I finish that segment whether or not I got number one. Um, if I was behind, then I, I know I, I missed the mark. So, um, so it's, it's making uh, real-time data that much more powerful, but also bringing it to in a form that's not dangerous for athletes. So not asking you to look down at your phone and try to decipher a map or anything else, but really bringing that data to your eyes and ears and harnessing the whole power of the AMP Plus system. In, in the case that I just gave you, I'm using an iPhone which uses Bluetooth Smart. So we'll start there. Um, the iPhone is actually sending and receiving Bluetooth on over Bluetooth Smart with my Viva heart rate strap. But then Viva is a hub for all of my Ant Plus devices. So essentially, uh, most riders want to record their data, say, on a phone, but they also want that secondary display of their GPS watch or their Garmin Edge computer on their handlebars uh, and their sport eyes on their glasses. And that's really harnessing the whole um, the whole network topology of AMP Plus is that uh, these little nodes can broadcast to multiple displays, which you can't do with Bluetooth Smart. So really, those two systems are, are converging to create an ever more powerful network that just gives consumers a whole lot of choice when it comes to what fitness devices they want to work out with and what smartphone they want to use to you know, port their data to the cloud.